in case of the children below the age of puberty having epiphyses separated from the diaphysis and this is separated by the epiphyseal plate which is ultimately going to fuse with the diaphysis after puberty and the ossification of the long bone it is mainly via two types of the centers one is the primary center which is actually for the diaphysis or the shaft of the long bone which appears before birth and secondary centers the secondary centers they developed after the birth and they are responsible for the development of the both the ends so we can say epiphysis of the long bone so what is the law of ossification the law of union of ossification states that the epiphyseal center or we can say secondary center which appears first going to fuse last with the diaphysis so we can say the secondary center or the epiphyseal center which appears first is going to stay for the longer time and going to fuse with the diaphysis later on last so what is the pattern of the secondary centers for the appear and the fusion with the diaphysis in case of the fibula in case of the fibula the secondary center or epiphyseal center for the upper end it appears at the fourth year of age and it fuses with the diaphysis at 18th year of age while for the lower end the secondary center for the fibula is going to appear at second year of age and it is going to fuse with the diaphysis at 16th year of age so here in case of the fibula the lower end epiphyseal center which appears at the second year of age should fuse last but here not in case of the fibula where we can see that the upper end which is which appears last also fuses last so this fibula violates the law of ossification now let's have the explanation regarding this now in case of the fibula the upper end is a growing end so the upper end of the fibula is a growing end and the growing end it always fuses last so for that reason the secondary center or the epiphyseal center for the upper end should appear first but here this do not occur in case of the fibula and the reason behind it that in case of the upper end the upper end having attachment of the biceps femoris muscle at the styloid process or the tip of the head of the fibula and for this reason this upper end of the fibula is a traction epiphysis while in case of the lower end this lower end of the fibula it is going to form the ankle joint and that's why the lower end of the fibula is presser epiphysis so as a rule when the long bone having presser epiphysis and traction epiphysis both at the different end the presser epiphysis appears first and the traction epiphysis appears last and that is the reason why the lower end of the fibula secondary centers appears at the second year which is earlier than that of the epiphyseal center for the upper end of the fibula and along with that that upper end of the fibula as we have discussed is a growing end and that's why it fuses last with the diaphysis so this explains why the fibula violates the law of union of ossification